Right, so we've had a look at tree diagrams in the last video. Now we're going to have a look at um, displaying information about probabilities in tables. So the one we're going to start with is, um, this is a group of Year 12 students, and we're looking at whether they have a car and whether they're in a relationship or not. So we've got some information that's given to us in the table. So this tells us the number of people that fits into each category, and you'd have to read across from the left and the top to uh, match up to the things that you're talking about. These last columns that were left blank are for putting our totals in. So in that space there you're going to total up how many people had a car. So you're reading straight down that car column that comes to 67. On this space here we're adding up how many students don't have a car. So total down that 27 and 106 and you're going to get 133. Similarly for the um, relationship or not in a relationship, we're going to add up those totals. So we've got 55 plus 27 makes 82. And the students that are alone, not in a relationship, their total 12 and 106 makes 118. Now we've got that last little square to finish off. Uh, that would give us the total number of students that we took this um, survey from. Now that total there, you can either total up the column on the right, adding up 82 and 118, or the 67 and 133 along the bottom. Both of those will come to 200, and it's a good idea to check that they both add up to the same thing, otherwise you've made a mistake. Right, so now we've got the table done, we could be asked some questions about this. So, for example, how many Year 12 students have no car and are alone? So you want to read down the no car column and across the alone row and see where they match up. So that's 106. And now from this group, what percentage of Year 12 students are in a relationship? So regardless of whether they've got a car or not, how many of them are in a relationship and work that out as a percentage? So we just want to read across this in a relationship row to give us this 82 out of a total of 200 students that were asked, which gives us this percentage. Okay, now we're going to have a look at another one. Um, this is level two students and whether they take PE or don't take PE and whether they take maths or not. So with this one, we're given some information First of all, that there are 418 level 2 students. And we're given a few other pieces and we're going to need to fill in the blanks. So this is now enough information to be able to fill in the rest of the table. So I want you to work through and try and fill in these gaps. And here are your answers. Hopefully you got that all correct and everything's fine and dandy. If you got anything wrong, just take a, a little minute to correct it now. You should be reading across rows to make sure they add up to the right total, reading down columns again to make sure that they add up to the right totals. Hopefully nothing too tricky.